Hello everyone, crude oil, how are we doing on crude oil? Um, I try to do this every week, or let's say 10 in 10 days, so it's time to take a look again at where we are at in oil. Well, this looks kind of kind of crazy, um, but I deliberately leave all my uh, previous analysis on on the chart, so this is the this is the weekly which uh, which just shows us that this this trend line previously drawn is still in place for the, for the rest there's not really anything new here so let's go to the daily right away um, we have uh, put something on the chart here um, this was a, a bullish phase we we described and we had a break um, I you know I, I traded it a little bit so I just took it uh, with me in the uh, in my analysis um, and I think uh, most of the traction, most of the, the views from uh, from my oil analysis came from this uh, this spike over here because uh, this was a, um, a a attack on the on the oil fields in Saudi Arabia, and when that happened, of course, price uh, price jumped up because an attack on oil, which uh, puts uh, potentially could um, damage the output of oil, and with uh, with that, uh, the news drove price uh, up in this level here and then uh, just like most of the time when news drives something in a certain direction we come back to uh, to, to correct uh, that price well that happened um, so um, I was I was in this uh, before to tell you um, how that uh, how that how that went how that what what the potential setups ba back then were and uh, price was trading in this range that's what this square is here about and now price is kind of stuck within the 51 54 uh, area uh, 55 actually um, so that's it on a daily not a lot of movement in oil um, so that that being said uh, let's go down to a lower time frame to get some more information yeah this was like 10 days or a week ago I think so uh, in oil price consolidated for a while so if you are active and if you uh, just like I described in my book there are different ways of trading so if you master those different ways maybe you have read my book also um, but um, in this case uh, a range trading strategy would be something if you see that 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 support seems to be holding around the 51 level you can you can go uh, for a long position and ride two points back to the 53 almost 54 level so three and a half points maybe um, you, you could have done it a couple of times um, then this would have been a certain breakout if you ask me but price fell back into this to this zone so actually the only thing I can do from here on out is just extend this uh, sideways moving market it is still within a range um, nothing has changed and this has been going on ever since uh, the 1st of October so we're all the way in October it's today it's October 16th and we are actually just in this range still trading we had a breakout but it was a false breakout and we came came back in it again so uh, this this forecast I did a couple of weeks ago is, is still in place um, still we are waiting for a break retest which in that case holds to see continuation to the upside or a, a, a break lower and a retest and then continuation to the downside all, all possible scenarios um, for now it just didn't happen now maybe you are thinking but what is this uh, I don't uh, get a actual trading opportunity out of this analysis that's true um, I am looking for for really trending markets so in this case I would like to enter the market at 54 and then maybe exit it at 64 for example that's a big ride it's a it's huge, huge profit just like like this level this uh, this uh, trading or trending market from the 64s back into the 51s those are the moves I'm actually looking for so that's that's uh, for now this is the uh, the scenario and just we have to wait you know there are other markets to trade so for now to me this is what it is um, again my book is free and if you read my book you probably know that this is oh I'm sorry that this is the um, this is a range this is just a range trade so if you do prefer to trade a couple of things and oil is one of the things that's on your list um, make sure you mark this range here maybe make it a little bit bigger around the 50 uh, 55 level uh, and make sure um, you manage your risk of course zoom in of course zoom in to find a better entry a, a good entry within the range and range trade this market for now um, 
51 is the bottom and 55 is the top it's in a range so without breaks and retests this is not going to trend so that's it for now um, I want to also give you a glimpse at uh, Brent oil which often is the same and in this case is the same we had also a fake out um, we, we can we can adjust this a little bit but that's the same thing it's, it's the same analysis I did a couple of um, couple of weeks ago it's just uh, it's not the, the 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 trading opportunity last week last weekend I did a uh, a, a video about um, forex opportunities and indices opportunities stock opportunities trending markets all of those things and oil wasn't there why because there is nothing to trade in oil at the moment so that's that's just the whole thing for oil <coughs> um, oil is traded and Brent oil against uh, the US dollar so something would which which could help you is is the fact that uh, let us zoom out a little bit that the dollar index is getting weaker and weaker it broke some significant levels um, this got taken out we are quite in a move so the dollar in fact is trending um, so that's 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 one part of the of the equation so if this uh, keep this in the, I, I always look at the dollar index uh, next to things related to the dollar um, in this case we see that price is going uh, in a downward trend so let's put this on the chart for now one new trend line um, if you trend the dollar index um, that's also possible of course in that case I would be bearish and I would wait for this to um, to pull back into this uh, to the trend line and probably uh, once it meets the trend line it will meet support or resistance or any something of previous price levels where we will uh, we will find uh, <coughs> find a reason we will find a combination of reasons to be uh, to be trading this. So um, I did I did I did want to give you an update on on oil uh <coughs> instead of l apart from range trading it's not really trending so don't not really uh, some solid opportunities in there. So let's put something else or something new into it and that would be this week natural gas um, let's 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 do it the way we do it uh, let's start at the bigger time frame gas is quite a range uh, bound um, market it's quite interesting I traded this uh, quite quite a lot in the, in the time when this was a uh, a solid level quite sometimes it came back in here and uh, and and, and <coughs> price reacted when it finally broke retests and, and uh, new opportunities and we are in a scenario right now where we are seeing that price didn't break that that convincing but it did break the level it did come back for a retest and it's now uh, testing uh, or, or trading lower um, it is at the moment at this level which makes sense when you look at this resistance level and you know kind of makes sense um, what I would be looking for, as long as this level holds, I would be looking for long positions. Quite obvious, I think. Um, if that doesn't happen, um, of course, I want to check out what happens at the next level from here on out. So there's 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 room to the downside. If this breaks, if it doesn't hold, I would see would like to see what happens uh, when we go down here. Um, let's go to the daily chart and see what we get from there. Um, yeah, this is what's going on. Um, we got some. Mm, don't know if the R R R S I is really giving us anything to go by. Well, I wouldn't. I would skip that. Um, yeah. So also here, double top kind kind of thing. Um, pullback. Uh, if this holds, I would still be long. I, I'll, I'll overall I'll be long. Um, yeah. So from a daily perspective uh, there is risk reward opportunities uh, to be found to be met over here um, with with you know quite quite a, uh, an interesting risk reward setup straight from uh, from here on out on a daily and when you look at the weekly chart and you see where price is moving if if it if it uh, succeeds and if it breaks this level um, we would uh, get even more uh, room to the upside which is over here because this is uh, this is an interesting level oh wait a minute yes let's go that way support resistance fake out kind of situation and even further even further but this is kind of uh, it's not really 
obvious that price will continue to move this high but um, overall um, oil crude range bound Brent range bound natural gas um, this is the weekly and looks range bound but this is the weekly so this is quite quite a big move um, opportunities in natural gas are my favorite I think right now price seems to be uh, shifting turning around so uh, let's try to find some long positions in natural gas a little extra for this week thank you for watching see you in the next one please like share comment everything please let me know what you think uh, what you want me to do f uh, kinds of analysis and things like that um, I'm happy to help and it's all free if you want my book please contact me I'll send you a copy thank you for watching bye bye